Hello and welcome to Oracle Database 12C installation tutorial. Uh, we are going to install Oracle Database um, 12C, the latest release on Oracle Linux 6.4. If you have any questions regarding this presentation, please uh, feel free to uh, contact on the email address listed here. Okay, so um, we already have a uh, Linux um, 6.4 um, server already set up, and I have already downloaded the media for or the software for the Oracle uh, Database 12C. So um, I have staged the software under my download folders, which is under slash home slash Oracle download folders, and I have already extracted the um, software. So let's go ahead and go to the database directory and uh, run the installer. Okay, so let's go ahead and uncheck this. Unnotify. Let's go ahead and click next. Yes. Skip software update. If you like to receive software update, you can put your um, Oracle support credentials here. Okay. Um, so basically, either you can uh, install and create and configure all in one shot, or we can uh, just install the database software and create the database later on and the listener. Or we can uh, choose a third option if you're doing a database upgrade. So today we are going to do a create and configure database. Uh, here you have to select desktop or server class. We are going to choose server class. Either you want to do single instance rack or rack with one node installation. We are doing single instance. You can either choose typical installation or advanced. Let's go ahead and do advanced. These are the uh, languages you want to select. So just leaving it to default for now. Uh, different uh, editions you have available for um, the database. Enterprise edition, standard edition, and standard edition one. Uh, typically, we go with the enterprise edition. So I'm just going with the enterprise edition location for the Oracle base and the Oracle uh, software or typically called the Oracle home. I'm leaving it all to default. And I have these uh, directories already available on the operating system. Oracle inventory location and the group. Uh, so we have not defined any additional groups such as OI install. And uh, so just leaving it to the default Oracle. Uh, what type of database it is? Is it data warehouse or general purpose transaction processing? So leaving it to default, general purpose. Um, define the database uh, name and also the uh, container database name, the new feature in 12C, pluggable database name. So let's go ahead and define the database name. I'm just going to call it dev and I will put down the domain as well. This one, I'm just changing it to uppercase, leaving it all default. So we have dev as the database name and the pluggable database name. I'm leaving it to PDB or RCL. It automatically picked up uh, the SGA or the memory size for the database uh, based on the total available on the server. Uh, it picked up about 40%, which is 749 MB. I have a total of 2 GB allocated to this virtual machine. Character set, uh, you have multiple options. I am going to choose the second option, which is AL32 UTF-8 um, for uh, multilingual or multilanguage. Sample schema, let's go ahead and check sample schema. This will give you the Scott schema if you want to play around with uh, several tables. Uh, for the actual uh, data files or the data, um, you have two options, either file system or ASM. We don't have ASM in this tutorial, so let's go ahead and choose file system. 
and I'm just changing this location from U01 to U02. Okay. Um, if you already have Oracle uh, OEM uh, 12C installed, you can click here and then provide the additional details for the OMS to register the database. Uh, we don't have this in this tutorial, so we're leaving it unchecked. You can enable the recovery here and define the location for recovery. Uh, I'm just leaving it unchecked. Different passwords you can define for each account or you can use same password. So I'm just going to use one password for all. This is just a warning that the password is not strong enough. I'm just leaving it going ignoring. Yes. Different groups you need to define for different various um, Okay, so I'm leaving all uh, this section to default. Let's go ahead and click Next. All right. So right now, I'm just checking if you have all the required RPMs. This is a fresh install, so as you can see, that it actually gave us um, a lot of warnings that some of the packages are uh, missing or they're outdated. So there's an option here to fix and check, so I'm going to use this. So as you can see that it provided a script to run as a root to fix a lot of these errors. So I'm going to uh, copy this and I will open up a new connection here. And in this new connection, I will ask you to root, enter my root password, and then I'm going to run this script. Okay, all fix up operations were completed successfully. So let's go ahead and Click OK here so it can check the warnings again. All right. As you can see that we are only left with two, um, and these are some of the packages which are missing. I'm just ignoring them for now, and we can deal with them later on. Click Next. Yes. This is just a summary um, of what we are doing. So I'm uh, basically, uh, you can review, and if you see any information which is not correct, you can go back and fix. Let's go ahead and click Install. These are various uh, stages of the installation and the configuration process. It will first install the Oracle software, link, that, or link the Oracle software, and then we will execute the root script, and then it will go into the database configuration or the actual database creation section of the installation. Okay, it's linking the binaries now. Next, it will go to the setup section. Okay, so the installation is complete. Now we need to run uh, two root scripts. So let's go ahead and copy them. I have another terminal session already open with a root connection. So I'll copy these scripts and run them there one by one. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up the second script. All right, so the root script execution is now complete. Okay, this is a message that the, um, the current home is not registered in the central inventory on the system. So um, are you sure you want to continue? Um, so we can uh, continue for now, and then later on we can attach the Oracle home or the current Oracle home uh, with the uh, central inventory. That can be done later on. So let's go ahead and click Next or Yes. Okay. So as you can see here that it completed Oracle Net configuration. Um, this is basically uh, configuring and starting the Oracle listener. Uh, the next um, it's working on is the Oracle Database Configuration Assistant. This is the section where it's running uh, DBCA Database uh, Configuration Assistant. And as you can see, another pop-up window started here. And now this is the actual creating the database uh, dev on the server. OK, it's about halfway complete. OK, it's on the last step now, uh, creating pluggable databases.
All right, so the database configuration assistant just completed, and you can see the summary on this page right here. It has also provided us with um, EM login to the um, database if you want to log into the local enterprise manager. So let's go ahead and click OK here. And this is the final page. Uh, the installation of Oracle database was successful. Let's go ahead and click close. Okay, so a um, couple of checks uh, we want to do here is this is the terminal session uh, to the same server. So I just want to go ahead and grab for the PMON process just to see if I see the dev database process monitor. Um, I also want to log in um, as sysdba uh, just to make sure that I'm able to connect. And as you can see, the version is 12.1. And let's go ahead and select the name. Okay, so as we can see that we have successfully created Oracle Database 12C. Um, and then one last thing we may want to do is uh, let's go ahead and see if we can log into the EM console. So let's go ahead and open the um, Mozilla connection. All right, so let's go ahead and log into the EM console. This is just a warning message for the SSL cert. Go ahead and proceed. And this is uh, just out of the box EM, not the actual OMS. Let's log in as sys, sys password, and we can check the box as sysdba. All right, so you can see here that um, you know it provides the detailed information about the uh, uh, database dev and you know some of the uh, performance information. And there are different things you can do uh, regarding configuration. Um, storage, security, and then also performance. Um, so that's it for this um, tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, please either leave a comment or contact us on the email provided earlier. Thank you.